All right, y'all. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly shampoo and have the best results for your blowout. I'm using all of my products, of course. I'm using my deep cleansing hair bath. This is a hair and scalp detox. You always want to use this first because this gets rid of all the buildup, all the toxins. Everything that was built up in your client's hair will come off without stripping. And I'm also using a steamer to hydrate her scalp and her curls as well. And I will leave the link down below for all of the things that I am using today. This is also a great way to build your ticket. High-end clients want high-end things. So keep that in mind also when you are servicing your clients. I'm also going to be steaming her hair while I'm deep conditioning. I currently have that on right now. And again, I'm using my repair tree. This is a protein and a moisturizer in one. So after we rinsed her out, you can see her curls like it's beautiful. It bounces back the shine, the luster. No, we did not put any leave in conditioners in her hair or any leave in sprays. I'm not a fan of that. Also, because my repair treat has a built in heat protectant and all of the ingredients are going to, you know, keep her hair hydrated and away from heat damage. So I'm starting right here at the nape. And as you can see, I'm not doing a super um, short part, uh, like a, not a short part, but like a super small part, excuse me. And no, I'm not going to edit that part out because this is real life, real facts, you know. But um, I'm doing a good section and this is in real time. I'm not going to edit anything. I'm just going to show y'all exactly how I'm going to blow dry her hair. And I just also want to tell y'all this too. If the hair is, you know, cleansed, is detoxed, the deep conditioner did what it was supposed to do. You should have this shine and your client's hair should have a nice stretch and it should be easy for you to run your powder brush through. This tutorial is not just for those that are stylists behind the chair, but this is also for women who are at home that want to blow dry their hair properly and extremely straight without using a flat iron. I know that many are still, you know, um, scared and a little bit on edge to enter a salon being that we've been going through all this stuff the past two years. So I totally get it. And many women have not found a stylist that will make them feel welcome and feel comfortable. So everything that I'm teaching y'all, feel free to use this at home as well. But I'm taking my time, but I'm also using tension. Um, if you go back and watch my other videos, which I urge you guys to do, you will see that this has been my method for years, years, and years. Um, this is something that I taught myself, but I love tension and I'm just a big, big advocate in not taking forever to do the blow dry, not taking years to do, you know, your own hair or even your client's hair. Make sure that you set yourself up for success and that starts at the bowl. I am using a ceramic brush. Um, this is the Olivia Garden brand. This is not sponsored by the way, but if y'all are listening, Go ahead and sponsor your girl because I've been using y'all for years, okay? That was a plug. But I really love their brushes and they last a long time and they do what they need to do. I also want y'all to pay attention to the fact that she is not flinching. She is not uncomfortable. She is relaxed. Uh, we just had a hurricane here the day before this and she came into charlotte all the way from raleigh just for me to do her hair so this is more than just you know her getting the hair service this is a peace of mind type of experience so i was glad that i was able to do that on my um you know back from retirement adventures This experience should be, you know, very calming and relaxing for your client or for yourself. But you also want to make sure that you're doing this in good time. Guys, this did not take me 
a long time at all to blow dry the hair. This is why whenever I'm doing a client, I make sure I time my stuff perfectly. I can do about five silk presses within like, I say about five hours, five, six hours, and then I'm done. And they're done correctly because I know my methods and I've trained myself to be on time to make sure that I'm doing things at the beginning right. I am holding her ends while I'm blow drying her hair because again, I'm using tension. You can see how straight her roots are getting and how straight her hair is getting. I know some of y'all may be like, you know, I use a comb, I use a comb. I do not use a comb blow dryer to blow out my client's hair because to me, again, this is my opinion, it's not professional. It does not get the roots straight and you have to end up using a brush anyway. I'm just not that girl. So if you are someone that wants to learn this way, just use this technique. But y'all can see how straight it is. Like, just look at how straight it is. The key to a long lasting press, a press that looks good, a press that looks like she left the salon or you left the salon is with the brush and the tension and the tools that you're using and your mindset when you're starting this. When you're starting this, your whole mindset has to be you know, this is going to be a beautiful outcome. You have to start that way too. I am using a small round brush. I'm just a perfectionist. Um, I just like to make sure that everything is super straight. Um, I think that this is Olivia Garden. I'm not sure, but I'll leave the link down below. This is also a ceramic brush, and I'm doing the same technique. Again, y'all can see that this is a real time. I'm not editing nothing. Like this is just how fast I blow dry. You see what I'm saying? How smooth it is. This is what you want to go for. And you also see that she's not flinching because it's not hot. I'm not putting the blow dryer right on her scalp. And I've invested in quality tools as well. Another great thing that I want to add is that I really took my time to develop products that I know would work without making it a million like we're not using no rice water I'm not doing all that crazy stuff to get people to buy I've developed products that actually work and actually give the results so even if you don't use mine whatever that you use make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do and not just something that is cute because the clients are going to be able to tell by the outcome that is given make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my videos i've been doing this for so many years and i feel like i don't get a lot of love as much as i should um, for the quality that i give i feel that i give a lot of quality for free and i love doing it honestly so the best way to show support for me is to hit that like button and subscribe So this is the back finish. You can honestly just walk out and just do like a braid out or whatever you want to do for the girls that are not, you know, flat iron naturals. But just look at how straight her roots are. This is flexible. Like you could go out and create something with this. But that's how um, the back is done, really. And let's move on to the next part. In the front here, you know, I just like to make sure that it's super straight. So I am using the ceramic small round brush to make sure that the front is nice and straight. And you can also do this on the edges as well. This is not burning her. Look at her face. She's not flinching. She's not like, oh my God, it's super hot. It's killing me. No, I'm doing it very gentle, but I'm still making sure that I'm getting what needs to be done. I'll be so bold once I 
So I'm using, of course, uh, the titanium plates. I'm going to leave all the links down below for this. And I'm doing my diagonal parts as I normally do. Again, I have tons of tutorials. And I know I said I wouldn't do so many hair tutorials now that I'm trying to rebrand to something different. But I had to put this out here because, you know, it was just on my heart. That shine is amazing. I didn't put any leave-ins, nothing, no sprays, nothing. This is just from my shampoo, the deep cleansing hair bath, and the repair tree. That's it. That's it. Like I said, you don't need 5 million products to have great results. And I also want to hear from y'all. So leave your questions, comments, and concerns down below, and I will answer them all. After I press though, I do like to use some of my serum. I just use a drop or two to, you know, give it that shine and to make sure that her hair is nice and sealed. It is a serum, but it is not heavy at all. It is very lightweight and it smells amazing. Check out my site to see some of the reviews, but y'all, this is just beautiful. Like I'm just already in love and we haven't even styled it. So I just did like some loose curls, nothing too much. And um, she actually loved her hair. It looks amazing. The shine is there. And I think that we did a good job. What y'all think? Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and follow me on Instagram. See you.